You're building a solution with large language models and want to optimize performance on your data. So you need to fine tune the model, right? Probably not. Let's discuss what fine tuning is, what it isn't, and why you probably don't want to do it. Welcome to episode 35 in ProLego's Generative AI series. Lots of companies are talking about fine-tuning LLMs, but unfortunately confusion results because people use the term differently. So let's start with the definition. Fine-tuning is the continuation of the training process on a smaller domain-specific data set to optimize a model for a specific task. Here's a simple example. Suppose you want to predict whether customers will cancel based on chat conversations. You first select a foundational LLM trained on general data by companies like OpenAI. You then send chat conversations to the LLM and tell it to predict whether customers will cancel. The LLM isn't very good because it doesn't know enough about your company. So you spend a few months building a new training data set based on your customers, products, and services, and you retrain the model. You hope introducing this new information to the model will improve results. So that's fine tuning. Unfortunately, some people use fine tuning as a general term for customizing LLM applications as an alternative to RAG or a necessary investment if you don't build your own foundational model. Let's clear up this confusion. Fine tuning is just one of 13 optimization techniques we outline in our LLM optimization playbook. You can get a free copy at prolego.com slash playbook. Fine tuning should also be one of your last options if other techniques don't work. Improving prompts, supplementing with examples, upgrading models, or augmenting with your data are all easier and less expensive options. Most companies want to use fine tuning to teach new knowledge to the LLM, but this doesn't work very well. Here is how OpenAI describes this limitation. Fine tuning is really not going to be good for adding new knowledge to the, um, to the model, right? The knowledge that exists in an LLM was um, impressed into that LLM during these very large pre-training runs, and you're essentially just not going to be able to get new knowledge into it during these limited fine tuning runs. So back to our example, fine tuning the foundational model is unlikely to make it better at predicting customer cancellations because you're attempting to introduce new information about your company. Augmenting the model prompts with your data, or RAG, is more effective at introducing this knowledge. Fine-tuning is also controversial. Some teams have reported months of wasted effort that either results in worse performance or becomes irrelevant when better models are released. Here's the bottom line. Don't invest in fine-tuning LLMs until you've exhausted better options, including waiting a few months for better LLMs. Start with a good evaluation framework and have realistic expectations. Carefully curate your training data set and rigorously test to see if results are improving. And if they're not, stop. If you found this useful, I hope you'll join the thousands of data analytics and AI professionals who subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. Now don't worry, this isn't the same irrelevant AI hype already filling your inbox and LinkedIn feed. Instead, we share assets used by the world's most successful companies like job descriptions, strategy templates, case studies, code samples, and more. Just visit prolego.com newsletter or click the link in the show notes.